Now then, how's he going? And welcome back to the Urban Butchery Channel with me, Franco Machalayo. Before I start the show, I'd just like to direct you to the new dunts. What do you think about those? Very proud of those. So, today's show is part two in the Urban Butchery Quadrilogy, which is The Butcher's Knot. It's just as easy as the first one that I did, and if anybody wants to see the first knot that I did, then just look down in the channel. So, without further ado, bottoms up, heads down, let's crack on. Okay, so this is going to replicate a joint of meat. Um, I do understand that you guys won't have, or possibly won't have, a pork leg or a shoulder of lamb knocking about your kitchen. So we're going to use this instead, and it's very effective. Uh, secondly, we're going to need some blue tack which is this stuff here, and we've placed it on the bottom of the rolling pin. So then we're going to turn it over and press it down. The blue tack also gives us a gap underneath to put the string through. Secondly, we've got a pair of scissors to cut our string. We don't need to use a knife, use some scissors. Health and safety. And thirdly, but not least, some really nice red and white butcher's twine. There are other colours as well. Green and white for lamb, blue and white for pork or just plain uh, butcher's twine. So first of all, we take the end of the string. Now normally, we will come under the joint like this. But what we're gonna do here, place the string underneath the rolling pin. Take your right hand, bring the string over. Now what we're gonna do differently to the last video that I did, this end cut piece of string here, we're gonna tie a knot in it, like so. Now the reason why we're doing that is that because we're only going to go once over, sometimes when we're setting the knot, this can slide off or the knot can slide down here and slide off. So this knot stops it from doing that. So we pick up the string, pick up the end with the knot in. The other piece of string is over my four fingers. Place that string, the top string on the bottom string and place your thumb over them both. Then. With a knot end, we drop it down below both pieces of string, put your hand underneath, bring your string round, and then where you've got a loop where your thumb is, you just drop that down through your loop. Bring the string into the middle of the rolling pin, pull your knot together, put the string in your right hand, and bring down like so. I can just show you that. Now what we do, we do what we call a security knot. So we place the string over the thumb and place the other piece of string in the corner of your little finger. Keep this side of the string very still with your right hand and then just catch the string with your little finger and turn it round, thus creating a loop. Once you've created your loop, with this finger and thumb, pince movement, pick up the knotted end of string, hold it upwards, and with your right hand, pull that together, like that. And that will set your knot. Then what we do, take the scissors, and cut the string off. So that's one knot done. Let's try that again. So. Put your string on underneath the rolling pin, bring it over with your right hand, tie a knot in the end of the string, pull together, then we have the main part of the string across your four fingers and you bring the knotted end on top of that one, thumb over the top. A knotted piece of string over both pieces, bring it round, and then down through the loop or down the rabbit hole, like so. Close together, place that into your right hand or your left hand, whichever you wish, and then bring together like that. Good. Now we're going to do the security knot, so remember across the thumb. 
catch the string in that little crease of your little finger and turn. Make a loop, pin some movement, and close the knot together. Then we take the string, and the scissors, and cut the string. Now let me just show you that in real time. So it's through, tie your knot, like so. Through, over, through, close together, security knot, scissors, and that's the job done. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you did, then please press the subscribe button. Um, look out for my next video, uh, which will be number three in the uh, Butcher's Knot uh, quadrilogy. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butchery Channel. Skills for life.